Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Chenda. Today video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a cable cardigan. It is really easy to follow. So now let's get start. First, we are going to make the front side of the cardigan. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 29. It is equal 7 inches width. If you guys want the cardigan bigger, please add more chains. And now after you got 29 chains, next for row 1, we are going to make half double crochet. To begin, skip 2 chains. To make half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitch until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row, next for row 2, chain 2, turn your work, make half the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row then I will meet you back again. Next, for row 3, chain 2, turn your work and make half the ball crochet in the next 9 stitches. And now after you got 9 stitches of half the ball crochet, next we are going to make front post triple crochet into the 10th stitch of row 1. To make front post triple crochet, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the front post of half the ball crochet. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you got 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through of 2 loop. Yarn over, pull through of 2 loop. And yarn over, pull through of 2 loops again. And now we are going to repeat this into the next 6 stitches 
In total, you must have 6 front post treble crochet stitches. And now, after you got 6 front post treble crochet, next, we are going to make half double crochet in the next 5 stitches. And now after you got 5 stitches of half double crochet, next we are going to make 6 front post treble crochet by repeat the same thing as the previous treble crochet. And now after you got 6 front post treble crochet, next we are going to make half double crochet. So this is what the first front post treble crochet stitches looks like. Next, for row 4, chain 2, turn your work and make half double crochet into each stitches until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again.
And now, after you reach the end of the row, row 5, chain 2, turn your work, make half double crochet in the next 9 stitches. After you got 9 stitches of half double crochet, next we are going to make the twist like you can see here. So what we are going to do now is that we will skip these first 3 stitches. Then we are going to make front post double treble crochet into the 4 stitch of treble crochet. To make front post double treble crochet, yarn over 3 times. And insert the hook into the front post of treble crochet. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you got 5 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. And now we are going to repeat the same thing in the next 2 stitches. So now we are going to make double treble crochet into this front post treble crochet that we just skipped. So starting with this first front post, yarn over 3 times, insert the hook back into this first stitch, yarn over pull through of the loop. So now you have 5 loops on your hook, yarn over pull through 2 loops. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. So we are going to repeat the same thing into these 2 stitches left. So this is what the twist of the cable looks like. Next, we are going to make half double crochet in the next 5 stitches. And we are going to make 6 front post double treble crochet again. Thank you. 
and now we are going to skip these three first stitches of the bow crochet and we are going to start at the fourth stitch just repeat the same thing as the previous double treble crochet stitch And now we are going to make half the ball crochet. Remember, we start with 9 stitches of half the ball crochet and end with half the ball crochet. Next, for row 6. Chain 2, turn your work and make half the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row, for row 7, chain 2. So remember guys, for chain 2, we doesn't count as a stitch. Then we are going to repeat row 3, make half the ball crochet in the next 9 stitches. Then make front post treble crochet for 6 stitches into the front post double treble crochet. So I'm just go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So now you can see these 3 stitches under these 3 stitches and we are going to make front post treble crochet in these 6 stitches.
So for the next row, remember after you have made front post treble crochet, for the next row we are going to make no more half double crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. And then turn into the right side of the cap ball, start with 9 half double crochet stitches and we are going to make 6 front posts of treble crochet and repeat the same thing like we did in the row 7. And now after you got 2 rows of front post treble crochet, for the next row make no more half double crochet stitches. And then we are going to make the twist again by make front post double treble crochet.
so for the next next row we are going to repeat by make two rows of front post treble crochet and then make the twist after you have made the twist of front post double treble crochet then make two rows of front post treble crochet again like you can see here And now after you reach row 25 for row 26, we are going to make the same thing but for the second cap ball that end with a half double crochet, we are going to skip the front post triple crochet and instead we make no more half double crochet roll. So for the first cap ball, you have to make 4 groups of front post triple crochet and for the second cap ball, you have to make only 3 groups of front post treble crochet just like you can see here So now after you got two rows of front post treble crochet, next we are going to make the twist again by make six front post of the ball treble crochet. And now after you have made the twist for the cable, for the next row, we are going to make 6 front post treble crochet and then make half the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. And now we are done making cable stitch. 
Next, for row 31, we are going to make no more half double crochet row until you reach row 42. It is equal 14 inches length. It is start from row 1 until row 42. Remember guys, if you want the cardigan longer, you can start add more rows from this row 31. And now after you got your desired fit, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. So here it is what the left part of the front cardigan looks like. I'm just remind you again, if you guys want the cardigan bigger, you want to make like size medium, size large, please add more foundation chains at the begin before start row 1. And everything just repeat the same thing like the cable. But the difference is you have to make more stitch of half the ball crochet at where I have made 9 stitches. So for the right part of the front cardigan, it is the same thing like the left part. The difference is the right part we start with half the ball crochet and end with 9 half the ball crochet. Remember the cable that start with half the ball crochet should be shorter than the cable that end with 9 stitches of half the ball crochet. And for the left part, start with 9 half the ball crochet stitches and end with a half the ball crochet. So where the short head ball is where we are going to make the ribbing panel around the neck. Next, we are going to make the back side of the cardigan. To begin, start with chain 67 and make half the ball crochet for 65 stitches until you got 40 rows. It is equal 13.5 inches length. And for two more rows left, we are going to make the shoulder part. Remember, example that if your front side have 50 rows, so the back side must have 50 rows the same. But you have to minus 2 rows. For that 2 rows, we keep for make the shoulder part. And for you guys wonder how you can get your back side measurement, it is really easy. Just plus the measurement of the 2 piece front side together. Example that 1 piece equal 20 inches width so plus 20 inches width more it is equal 40 inches in total width so this is the measurement for your back side but you have to add some more inches it is keep for making the ribbing panel around the neck example that if you want to make the ribbing panel for 2 inches length you have to plus 4 inches more so it is equal 44 inches include the ribbing being stitches and 44 inches it is the size of the back side cardigan so now after you got 40 rows of half the ball crochet next we are going to count 28 stitches away from both edges remember chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch you guys wonder how I get that number of 28 stitches or 7 inches width. It is from the front side. So for my front side, I have 27 stitches in total. So at the back side, I have to add one more stitch because we need to make decrease. So after you have made decrease, it will become 27 stitches the same as the front side. So you can see the small space in the middle of the stitch marker. It is equal 3. 0.5 inches so now for row 41 continue from where your last stitch is chain 2 turn your work and make half the ball crochet into every stitch until you have two last stitches and we are going to make decrease To make half the ball crochet decrease, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next loops, yarn over and pull through of the loop. And now you have 5 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, for row 42, chain 2, turn your work. 
and make half the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row and I will meet you back again And now after you reach the end of the row, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. For the next part, attach the yarn and repeat the same thing like row 41 and row 42. Next, we are going to make the sleeves. First, make the ripping around the wrist. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 16. It is equal 3 inches length. If you guys want the ripping higher, you can add more chains. Next, for row 1, skip 1 chain, make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again.
After you reach the end of the row, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochet but into the back loop only. Keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row, for the next next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 29. It is equal 7 inches length. It is the size around my wrist. If you guys want it bigger, you can add more rows. And now after you got your desired fit, next we are going to make half the ball crochet roll. To begin, start from where your last stitch is and chain 2, make half the ball crochet into these loops like I show you. Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again.
Next, for row 2, chain 2. Turn your work. And we are going to make half the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Then we will make increase into the last stitch. And now after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make increase by make two half the ball crochet into the same stitch. Next, for row 3, we are going to repeat the same thing like row 2 by make half the ball crochet into every stitch and make increase into the last stitch. Keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 6. It is equal 12.5 inches width. It is the size around my arm. If you guys want it bigger, please add more increasing row until you reach your desired fit. And now, after I reach row 6, it is the size that I want, so I stop increase, then I make a normal half the ball crochet row, start from row 7 until row 44, it is equal 14 inches length, measure from row 1 until row 44. And now after you reach row 44, next we are going to make the size around upper arm by make increasing row again, start from row 45 until row 55. So in total length of the sleeve, it is equal 18 inches measurement from row 1 until row 55. And for the size around my upper arm, it is equal 15 inches width. Next, we are going to connect all the pieces together. First, slip stitch the front side and the back side. Attach the yarn Chain 1 And insert the hook into both loops. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. 
Repeat this into every stitch until the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Before you connect the sleeves together, please embroider the flower first. It is easy. For embroider the flower, I will show you at the end of the video.
Next, we are going to make the ribbing panels around the waist by start from the left side of the cardigan. First, attach the yarn and chain 8. It is equal 1.5 inches length. If you guys want the ribbing longer, you can add more chains. Next, for row 1, skip 1 chain and we are going to make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch in the next two stitches to connect the roll. For row 2, turn your work. And skip 2 stitches that we have made slip stitch. Then make single crochet back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work. Make single crochet back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then we are going to make slip stitch in the next 2 stitches again. Keep repeating row 2 and row 3 into each stitch around the cardigan. Then I will meet you back again.
And now after you reach the end of the row, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the ripping panels around the neckline by attach the yarn and repeat the same thing as the ribbing panels around the waist Remember, if the ribbing around the neck looks stretching, please make slip stitch decrease by skip one stitch and then slip stitch.
And now your cable cardigan is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Share this with your friend. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. Please stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.